A simple clouser minnow, tied by Brad Buzzy. We're using a Mustad 34007 number one hook and using mono thread today to tie our clouser minnow. Attach 532nd barbell eyes to your hook somewhere around the mid shank. These happen to be the sunken type so that you can add eyes later if you wish. To attach your eyes, just use some cross wraps going in each direction. But once you do that, you may want to try to do some flat wraps or helicopter wraps that go around the underside of the eye. This helps just secure the eye in better. When you're done, add a drop of your favorite glue. This happens to be Zappa Gap. In this case, we're going to add some light blue bucktail behind the eyes. We'll try to get it so that it goes all the way around the shank. Now we'll move the thread forward and touch some white bucktail behind the hook eye. You notice that to get the thread to the back, you try to make it so that the thread goes underneath the hook and that it does not go over the eyes. Now we can add some flash. What I like to do is tie the flash in halfway and fold it over the other side and secure it. That way now you have flash on both sides and it should not pull out. As you can see we advanced our thread not going over the white part of the belly up to the front and now we're tying on some shark truce bucktail. This will kind of be in the middle of the fly. Now we're going to measure our olive bucktail, which will be the last color of bucktail we use. Cut it to length and attach it on top of the shark truce. Now if you'd like, you can add some peacock curl to the top of the fly. Somewhere between six and eight strands should be plenty. Now we're just going to whip finish and finish off the head. I like to whip finish twice whenever I use mono. Just in case the first one slips, I got one as a backup. So here we are, we just whip finished the fly the first time. Now we're going to go back and fill in any spots of the head. Try to make it look a little bit nicer. And then we're going to whip finish it for the second time and cut off our thread. Now before we put some head cement on this fly, we're going to try to adjust the fly so it's in the proper position and all the fibers are lined up the way they're supposed to be. Sometimes you can do it with your scissors or your fingers. And the other times you just have to stroke the fibers back. And if all else fails, there's nothing wrong with just a little bit of spit. Now we're going to add a liberal coating of your favorite head cement. In this case it happens to be hard as hull, but you can use things like Sally Hansen's Hard as Nails, Tough Fly, or even Epoxy. Remember to coat the underside of that fly. Get some head cement along the white belly portion that rides right on top of the eyes. This will help with durability. Here's the finished fly. It's all ready to fish. As you can see, Clouser Minnow can be tied in many different ways with many different colors and many different combination of materials. This happens to be one I like. Good luck with it and have fun. For more information, you can contact me at buzzfly.com or you can visit the Atlantic Saltwater Fly Riders page at aswf.info.